When you log in into Microsoft Visio Online, you see a lot of different templates available for you to create a diagram. There are three most commonly used templates available. Basic Diagram, Basic Flowchart, and Cross-Functional Flowchart Diagram, also known as Swim Lane Diagram. Each one of these diagrams has its own line here. And in the line, you can create a brand new diagram which would be blank, but will have all stencils available. Or you can create any one of the available templates. For example, I can create basic flowchart diagram, which would be blank, but will have basic flowchart shapes in the stencil. Or I can start the diagramming process with the sample Microsoft provides. For example, HR management process sample. Once the diagram is here, you can review it and start modifying the sample so you can build what you need based on the sample. Let's go ahead and create basic Visio diagram by clicking the Create button. And let's start by looking at Microsoft's Visio user interface. There are four major areas in Microsoft Visio Online user interface. Simplified ribbon, palette, stencils and shapes area, share and comments area in the upper right corner, and then zoom and fit area in the bottom right corner. Simplified ribbon is located in the upper area of the browser. You can switch between the tabs to access different functions based on what you're trying to accomplish. Stencils area is located on the left side of the screen. You can switch between different groups, for example, arrows, callouts, banners, graphs and math shapes, and symbols. You can add additional shapes based on what you're trying to accomplish. Or you can search for the particular shape by typing the name of the shape in the search bar. You can share the diagram and collaborate on the diagram using Share button and Comments button. If you're trying to share it, you click Share button, type somebody's email, and you can send it to another person for review. If you're trying to collaborate, you use Comments features of Visio, and you add comments that become visible to another person as they edit and review the diagram. In the bottom right corner, you see Zooming controls, where you can zoom in and zoom out, and you can also use the feature that allows you to fit diagram into the current window. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.